caterpillars and butterflies. Amazing insects. Butterflies are flying insects with beautiful wings. They begin their life as caterpillars. This is a peacock butterfly. The spots on its wings look like the marks on a peacock's tail. Tiny eggs. Butterflies like lay eggs on leaves and twigs. The eggs are sticky so that they don't fall off. Many eggs have a thick, rough covering. A caterpillar is growing inside each egg. They will be ready to hatch in a few days. Butterfly eggs come in different shapes. Some butterflies lay more than 1,000 eggs in just a few weeks. Some eggs look like a round pearl. Other eggs are long and thin. And a few hang like beads on a string. Hatching out a caterpillar caterpillar bites a hole in its egg and wiggles out. This cabbage white caterpillar is hatching. You can see other tiny caterpillars still inside their eggs. First, the caterpillar eats its eggs. This gives it energy. It's still hungry, so it eats the leaf the egg was on. Then it moves on to eat more leaves from the same plant. Caterpillars have strong jaws. They can eat through a leaf in seconds. Lots of legs. All caterpillars have 16 legs. This is the emperor gum moth caterpillar. The front six legs are stiff and pointed for grabbing food. Other legs are fatter. They have suckers for clinging onto stalks and twigs. Some pet caterpillars move along in big loops. The front part of the body stretches out. Then the back part lifts up and moves up to meet the front. Stay away. Birds and insects like to eat caterpillars. Many caterpillars have patterns on their bodies to help them hide. This geometric moth caterpillar looks just like a twig. Some caterpillars make a horrible smell that keeps other animals away. Many caterpillars try to look scary, try to look scary to frighten enemies. Pus moth caterpillars rear up to look big and fierce. Sweet oil caterpillars eat poisonous plants. This makes them taste bad to birds. Big eaters. Caterpillars eat all the time. They find the plants they like and eat until it's all gone. These caterpillars are called large whites. They only like to eat cabbage leaves. Caterpillars soon grow so fat that their skin is too tight and it starts to split. They wriggle out from the old skin. Underneath is a new stretchy skin. This swallowtail caterpillar has a brand new skin. It leaves the old skin behind. Most caterpillars change their skin four times. Each time, the patterns are more interesting. Time to change. Soon, caterpillars are ready to turn into butterflies. First, a caterpillar finds a safe, sheltered place. It hangs upside down using hooks on its body. Its skin splits and falls off. Underneath is a new skin. The skin gets harder and harder until it looks like a case. The hard case is called a pupa. The pupa hangs without moving for weeks. Inside, a butterfly is growing. Some caterpillars hide inside a rolled up leaf before they turn into a pupa. A new body. When butterflies are full grown, they are ready to break out of their pupa. You can see this butterfly's wings inside the pupa. The butterfly slowly pushes itself out of the pupa. Then it stops to rest. Its wings are pale, damp, and crumpled. Butterflies have to let their wings dry out before they can fly. This monarch butterfly must wait a few hours for its wings to spread out and get stiffer. Butterflies don't grow after they've hatched. They stay the same size all of their lives. 
up and away. Butterflies are always moving around. They never stay still for long. All butterflies have four big wide wings. They flap all four wings together. The wings are covered in tiny scales and you can see them under a microscope. Some butterflies flap their wings 70 times every second. What is a moth? A moth looks like a butterfly, but it's not quite the same. This emperor moth has smaller, narrow wings than a butterfly. Hawk moths can fly much faster than you can run. Most moth flies at night, but there are not so many enemies when there are not so many enemies around. This is a Mada Madagascan moon moth. Moths have fat furry bodies to keep them warm on cold nights. They have a feathery feelers that sense objects in the dark. Feeding. Butterflies and moths feed on juices from flowers or fruit. Instead of a moth, they have a long, thin, thin tube called a proboscis. They drink through it like straws. Asian vampire moths can prick an animal's skin and drink its blood. The proboscis is usually curled up. It uncurls when the butterfly drinks. When butterflies are thirsty, they often suck, uh, suck up drops of water from the damp ground. Vanishing act. Lots of animals like to eat butterflies. Some butterflies have patterns that help them inside. If this leaf butterfly keeps still, enemies think that it's just a leaf. The hair streak butterfly is easy to see as it flies. Its wings are green underneath so it can hide when it lands. This orange tip butterfly looks like a flower it feeds on. Showing off. Some butterflies are poisonous so they don't need to hide from their enemies. Bright markings on the swallowtail butterfly warn animals that it tastes bad. Some butterflies have big spots like eyes on their wings to make them look scary. These butterflies look poisonous to animals, but the one on the left is harmless. It copies the poisonous butterflies patterns. This moth has a fat body and small wing enemies think it's a bee and leaves it alone. Big and small. Butterflies and moths come in all shapes and sizes. An atlas moth are the biggest moths in the world. Each of their wings is wider than the page of this book. The smallest butterfly is called the pygmy blue. This is a real size. This is a zebra swallowtail butterfly. Many swallowtails have long wings that make them look bigger. This helps protect them from enemies. Birds often snap at the butterfly's dangling tails instead of its body. The butterfly has a chance to escape losing it a bit. Losing a bit of its wings doesn't hurt.